also at the regional level co-chairs of uh, the IAPB at the regional level. Then of course every year World Site Day programs we were supported by IAPB. Then involved with presentation of participating various workshops organized by IAPB to share our experience also and gain experience from them who are doing excellent job in other countries. And also in Sri Lanka is the second workshop we are having with their support. One might wonder why we have this workshop. There are few objectives of this workshop. One is to see how much we have done up to now from 2014 workshop. Two years have gone. And to look back, the decisions we have taken, whether we have implemented, were there challenges, what was our success, that kind of work. Eye-opening things to be done during these two days of deliberation. Then, of course, there are experiences. There are different partners who are involved with Vision 2020. Set a platform for them to come and share what they have done and for others to learn. And also to listen what other countries have done. Where EAPB experts will brief us how the progress made in relation to Vision 2020 by other countries. And also for us to know what are our drawbacks and then get together as a group and plan our way forward. So these are the main objectives where we are focusing today and tomorrow. Now, if you go by the previous workshop, we have taken certain activities forward. The human resource development, we have focused more attention. I think after that there's one group of OTs passed out and there's another batch waiting to pass out. So maybe we have developed about nearly 100 ophthalmic technicians whose services are very much important to run the Vision 2020 program in Sri Lanka. Then certain infrastructure development and taken care of the need of technological advancement also have been taken place. And then uh, what is more important for the people in this country is service delivery, their point of view, where we have got involved in few activities. So we need to see what we have done and what we have not done and see during these two days how best we can accommodate what we have not done for next two years span. And also we need to specifically go one by one the recommendations and probably identify mechanisms to see that these recommendations are implemented. Then after the last workshop, we have been able to conclude another very important activity, National Blindness Survey, where Sight Savers and CDM greatly involved and supported us. And we need to propose solutions to the challenges which we have identified during the survey. Just to highlight certain figures and findings of the blindness survey where you and me all got together as partners to this. Certain areas, the prevalence of blindness is very high. Prevalence of blindness is very high. Starting from over eastern, northwestern and northern. Compared to southern, which is uh, compared to many other provinces, very good, 0.3. Then the western and Sabargamuna. So we need to improve the services and maybe we need to come out with different strategies to overcome this issue. 
and in delivery of healthcare services there are two mundane elements which we go by equity and access which go hand in hand so this shows that there's no equity of service provision that may have been the reason why there's difference so we need to address this issue in relation to human resource development infrastructure development and then whatever the rest of services so we need to be mindful about this then if you go by the courses this may be just to set the platform for your discussion during next two days how we should uh, guide it now cataract 66.7% two third of blindness in sri lanka is due to cataract which is avoidable or easily we can address so if it is due to glaucoma one can say it's difficult it's only prevention you know treatment once it is set up it's not that easy but cataract is a matter of you know 30 minutes operation and person become normal but we don't do that so two third of blindness in sri lanka is avoidable very easily we need to focus our attention we are trying our best to do camps everywhere trying to improve the services but yet we are handicapped in that so we need to focus for your recommendation during next two days maybe you need to focus much on this and i think we can't go by the traditional conventional way by just you know focusing only on our units in sri lanka 56 we have increasing the number of cataracts we have done we can say increase by another 20 30% but i don't think that will be enough so we need to think about other mechanisms so iapb probably might help us in this endeavor i think we need to get services from other countries if there are eye surgeons who are willing to come to sri lanka and do operations why not we allow it why not we organize it already there are certain organizations wanted to come and do operations now last week people last week i was in maunia where group of eye surgeons from singapore wanted to come on routine basis they want to come and spend one week few eye surgeons at a stretch and do 500 600 cataracts at one eye camp so if you can organize such say 50 100 eye camps a year we can do 50000 cataracts easily so these are the things we need to somehow think about and improve so we need to get the support